okay, so there's the directions. And then they give you a couple of things. They give you a function. So f of x is equal to an x squared plus a 13x plus maybe say a 26. And then they tell you f of c is equal to negative 10. And you're supposed to find all values of c satisfying the given conditions. Okay, now this really boils down to can you read the notation and what it's telling you to do? Because really in the math, it's telling you exactly what to do. It's giving you this as the f function. But this right here is the directions that really tell you what to do. If you can read this mathematically left to right, then you can work this problem out. All right, this right here says take c and plug it into the f function. All right, well, can we do that? Can we take C and plug it into the F function? Yeah, we're going to plug it in here, and we're going to plug it in here. So I'm going to do this portion first. So I'm going to take C and plug it in. So I'm going to have a C squared plus a 13C and then plus a 26. Then the rest of this says equals negative 10. All right, so I plugged the C in. Now I'm going to set it equal to a negative 10. All right, and then can we solve this? All right, we would what? Add 10 to both sides of the equation. Let's do that in another color. So we would add 10 and we would add 10 to both sides. Those two things are going to cross out. All right, and then we're going to have a c squared plus a 13c plus a 36 is equal to zero. And then I'm pretty sure we did this um, on last Wednesday. It's factoring trinomials, guess and check, leading coefficient of one. So it's relatively simple here. We know we're going to have two binomials. We'll have a C in the first term and a C in the second term. I almost can't tell those Cs are different from my parentheses. All right, so two numbers that multiply together to be 36, but add to 13. And again, if you need to go through and make some charts, like 1 times 36, that's not going to work. 2 times 18, that's not going to work. 3 times something, 3 times 12 is 36, that's not going to work. 4 times 9 is 36 and four plus nine is 13, okay? So if you run through those factors of 36 relatively quickly and in a systematic way, you will find them pretty quick, all right? So a nine and a four, and everything is plus signs, so I can do plus, plus, all right? Now, zero product principle, we've done this a lot. I mean, we didn't do it last week, but anything all the way through high school, you did this. Two binomials set equal to each other, equal to zero, or sorry, two binomials <laughs> multiplied together, set equal to zero is that zero product principle. I can set this equal to zero. I'll show all the steps. And then solve for C, C equals a negative four. Set the second binomial equal to zero. Subtract nine from both sides, C equals negative nine. Okay, so it says find all values of C. Well, here's one value and here's another one. So I found multiple um, values of C, negative nine and negative four. So as a final answer right there. All right. <clears throat> so when you're going to start seeing this particular question, I'm not exactly sure, but it is really common. It shows up in my math lab. It shows up on written homework. It shows up everywhere. Okay.